Have you ever tried to buy a tire? Sure, you trawl through the internet for reviews, you ask around if anyone you know already has used the tire and you listen to everything that your tire dealer has to say, most of which might go over your head. The only way to truly understand what a tire does is to slap it on your car and test it out, just like what we did with our long-term test Kia Sonnet a few months ago. But things are changing. Seat is taking the lead to make it easier for you, the end consumer, by putting in place a label rating system that tells you what the tyre is capable of. Label ratings, they aren't new. We've got them on our refrigerators, on our microwaves, they are informative and they make purchasing decisions easier. And these new labels should simplify things. But what do these label ratings mean and how do you even read them? Let's dig a little deeper to find out. Now this is what a label rating looks like. You've got the tyre manufacturer mentioned on top. In this case, SEAT, followed by the name of the tyre. This one is the SEAT Secura Drive, but these label ratings are also available for the Fuel Smart range and by the end of the year on the entire SEAT range. Below that, you've got the tyre sizes. 195 by 60 R16 is the size for the Nissan Magnite, Tata Nexon and the Renault Kyger. Right below that, you've got the star rating. Five stars for this tyre, which is OE fitment on the Magnet and the Kyger. And we will talk about how Seat arrives at these ratings in just a minute. Below that, you've got the measurement for rolling resistance on a sliding scale and another scale for wet grip and a reading for noise. In the absence of a government notified rating system in India, these are based on Seat's internal system modeled on ratings already used in the international market. Now let's talk about the three parameters that go into the forming of this rating. The first two, they are qualifiers, which means a tire has to perform to a minimum standard when it comes to wet grip and noise to even qualify for a rating. And these two parameters are important because wet grip, it directly affects safety on the road while noise is something that affects the comfort of the driving experience. SEAT conducts these tests at specialized international test tracks with specialized equipment. Once they pass these tests, they are followed up by tests for rolling resistance. And this is what decides the rating of the tyre. Now what is rolling resistance? This is essentially the effort a car needs to make to keep a tyre rolling down the road. It is a function of many things, including the tyre compound, shape, tread pattern, heat, and even something seemingly insignificant like air pressure. The rolling resistance has many effects on the way a car behaves, but the most significant of them is on fuel economy. The higher the resistance, the more energy needs to be spent to keep the car rolling, and the more fuel is consumed. Low rolling resistance tyres aid with fuel economy significantly, and that is where the star rating comes in. This rating is based on how the tyre performs in the rolling resistance test. The lower the score, the better it has performed. So for this particular size, if it scores a rolling coefficient of anywhere between 8 to 0, it gets 5 stars. Anywhere between 8.1 to 9 gets 4 stars. It goes on and anything more than 12 gets scored with 0 stars. Also important when you buy a tyre is the wet grip and that's something the label also highlights. And of course, a better wet grip rating, the higher the overall tyre rating. So the next time you go shopping for a tyre, remember that tyres with label ratings will make your search easier. A 5-star rating means it will give you the best fuel economy. But do not forget to look at its wet grip and how quiet the tyres are. And with all that information in front of you, you can make a fully informed decision on what tyre should go onto your car next. Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.